Alright everybody, GDC 2009 is winding down, but we've saved one of the best games for last, and that game is Dragon Age Origins. I'm joined by gameplay designer Mike Laidlaw, who's here to tell us about the game. Now, Mike, let's talk about this uh, this quest you were uh, showing us earlier. It it's, takes place in the city of Redcliffe, sort of a village under siege. It's being attacked by the Blight. Can you tell us about how this quest fits into the overall story of the game? Because obviously you guys are known for very story-driven experiences, and how your decisions that you make during this quest, quest can affect the rest of the game. Sure can. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Uh, what you're looking at with the Redcliffe quest is, you know, your attempt to basically gather an army to fight the Darkspawn as the Blight surges up from the south. They've already won one major victory, so you're kind of the last ditch hope to stop them. Uh, Redcliffe's Arl, the, the man in charge of it up in the castle, has a, a, big, a big standing army. They didn't actually get any losses at the last fight, so he's one of your big allies you need to acquire. The problem is, once you arrive, Redcliffe is already under assault. Uh, uh, there's hordes of undead pouring out of the castle every night, and they really don't know how to how to stop it. So, I mean, the logical thing you'd expect is, oh, I'm going to dive in and help because you know that seems you know the right thing to do. But at the same time, it's also kind of a, a waste of your time, arguably, because it's just the villagers, or at least that's what members of your party would tell you. So, in terms of how it ties into the whole story, um, certainly you need to to at least gain the help and gain access to the castle, find out what's happened and and why the Arl kind of isn't available to lend you support, because that's what you absolutely have to do. Whether or not you defend the village is kind of up to you. I mean, it's possible to just say, ah, I'm out of here, I'm not doing this thing. And then, of course, what we were demoing was followers kind of reacting to, like, this is a waste of time, what are you doing, right? And I mean, that's pretty pretty poignant stuff when that happens. In terms of the overall game, like, you, you really have to, to pursue Red Bull. And then we're going to see you know, what characters survive, what kind of things, we're constantly tracking this, what kind of rumors are even spreading about you. And of course, how do your followers feel at the end? Are they still happy to have you in, as their leader? Some of them might be pissed off. So obviously this is a Bioware game, so the dialogue system is featured very heavily. So you don't have to just immediately rush into battle. You can sort of go around, talk to the different villagers to sort of tip the odds in your favor. Can you tell us about how you do that in this mission and the sort of consequences that you experience from members of your teammates who don't necessarily agree with you? There's a, there's a whole series of things you can do to set up Redcliffe to make sure the defense is uh, really effective. Uh, obviously you need to you know, either be persuasive or sometimes you end up having to pay people like mercenaries, that kind of stuff, in order to bring them in to say, okay, look, we need to hold this line. Um, now, how much of that the player does is certainly up to him and what approach he takes, right? Certain people might be really persuasive and just charm everybody into it. Other people are just going to threaten everybody into it, right? Same kind of deal. Now, with those kind of, of things, what you see is a direct increase in the effectiveness of the other defenders. And so, you know, if, if the knights are inspired, if you've uh, been, you know, kind of rallied the troops with your speeches, if you've gotten better equipment, that was the one we demoed today was, you know, getting the blacksmith to actually help because he was like, I'm too drunk. I don't care, my daughter is gone, right? And it's like, well, you understand that. I mean, he's kind of in this fatalistic place. You want him to basically help out because, you know, then you can go help his daughter. If you do that, great, awesome. You know, he's really happy. Um, and the troops just increase in effectiveness. And then, of course, there's a reward at the end if you manage to get everybody through alive, which was the demo we saw. Some of the others earlier today, not everybody made it. In fact, the mayor didn't make it, the, the leader of the knights didn't make it. So some ser pretty serious casualties. And again, that affects later plots where you need those guys to help you out. Well, it looks really great. When should we expect to see it in stores? And I know we mentioned platforms just a second ago, but could you go ahead and uh, summarize those for us? Sure, yeah. Um, you'll be seeing it for the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC coming out in fall 2009. Right, Mike, thanks a lot.